some areas of some road work, but this closure that we have is over into the Santa Monica area, and it is going to be an issue. This is some of those light delays that are beginning there. We have some live pictures that we week we start this warm up, and it is going to start to get hot again, and it is going to be a long stretch of some more heat. We also have some monsoonal weather back in the forecast too, so I'll let you know when we can expect any chances of showers or thunderstorms in just a little bit. Leslie, I'll send it back to you for now. All right. As we've been seeing it a little too much lately. It will probably come back, but it is summertime, so, uh, you know, we're kind of used to that. But a nice little break. It's still going to be very warm inland today, but then we are going to get back to those very hot temperatures. And then they're going to last quite a while again. But the heat wave and those triple digits, at least a little more widespread, aren't going to be for at least a couple more days. So uh, we do have little Eddie is spinning kind of well off the coast there. So any immediate uh, cloud coverage is going to be uh, right at the immediate coastline. So kind of just right at the beaches. Hasn't really moved too far inland. We did have some areas of some fog, though, for the L.A. Basin this morning. Now, we have high pressure that is over Texas. So it's kind of way out of the way here. And so we're still dealing with some pretty Pretty nice temperatures. But what's going to happen as we head into later this week? It's going to start moving to the north. It's going to start moving to the west. And then soon enough, as we head into about Thursday and Friday, it's going to start to center itself right over the Four Corners region. And that's our perfect perfect setup to get some of that monsoonal weather into our region here in Southern California. You start to see some of it making its way in and popping up on the models here as we head into Thursday, but more so even as we head into Friday. So that's what we're looking ahead to. And with that, too, we will also see temperatures get much hotter as that high pressure begins to build back in a little closer to see some triple digit heat as we get into Thursday for some spots. Then we get into Friday and it just gets hotter and hotter with the hottest areas as of now. It looks like getting up to about 105 to 106 into the beginning, maybe even to midweek next week. So it might be several days of it. Now, also with that monsoonal weather, there's going to be a couple days where the chance is going to be a little better for some of that to drift off of the mountains and move a little further west. So if you're in those valleys, the foothills, uh, the Inland Empire, you might have 70s the next few days, mid to upper by the weekend. So it's still going to stay nice. That's still the place you can go to beat the heat. The mountains, we stay a more day at 99 for the high desert. Then we'll get back into those triple digits by Wednesday and getting all the way up to about 106 <coughs> to 107. Very hot by the weekend. Leslie, I'll send it back to you. Ooh, that is hot. Brianna, thank you.